day or evening. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a succulent plant bowl garden. Now you can either use all succulents or all cacti or a mixture of both. And in this video I'm going to use a mixture of both because I think it's going to look really lovely. Now one thing I need to say is when you're making a succulent plant bowl garden it's really really important that you use cacti and succulents that are very compatible and have the same type of growing conditions and needs. The reason for this is because if you plant say like a Christmas cactus or any of the epiphyllum cacti that needs a lot of regular watering and humid conditions. If you plant that in the same bowl, same bowl as a desert cactus that needs really dry, arid conditions, then you're going to have a few problems when it comes to watering them because they're all together. So just a bit of advice, choose plants that are the same growing requirements and also when it comes to succulents, many succulents are actually winter growers, some of them are the South African succulents like to grow in the winter, so obviously you wouldn't be putting winter growers with um, summer growers and vice versa and mixing winter growers with desert cacti that like a dry um, overwintering period. So as long as you choose some that are all compatible, if you're unsure just check up, there's loads of information online and different types of cacti and succulent care. And I've chosen this selection here. As you can see, there's a lovely selection of succulents and some cacti as well here. And when it comes to choosing the bowls, now there's many different types of bowls you can use. Sometimes there'll be some lovely ceramic planters, some of them are beautiful, some lovely clay ones, lovely terracotta and um, some beautiful ones. Here in this case I'm using um, plastic ones and always make sure that they're really clean and they've been sterilised before you so there's no bugs lurking about in there. And they can be different shapes, you can use square ones, round ones. In this case I'm going to use this shape here and there's loads of space. And the next thing you need to be careful of, obviously when you're putting them in, is to make sure that the first of all they're going to fit. <laughs> so before I start filling this up with any soil, I'm going to have a little bit of an idea here by putting probably the tallest one first into the middle, like so, and then gently placing them around just so it gives you a little bit of an idea that you're going to have enough space because it's easy to um, get a bit too enthusiastic and then end up with no space, as you can see. They're going to fit in there no problem at all, which is going to look lovely when it's all done. So um, let's get going then, shall we? Now when it comes to actually putting the soil in, I always prefer to use some crock at the bottom of it for drainage. And also, I don't think anything like me, but a lot of my uh, bowls I get, the holes are about the size of sink holes, <laughs> plug holes. So it also helps the soil doesn't go straight out, but it's still giving a bit of drainage. And also make sure if you're using old clay pots, which is what I do, I just, I just use the old reused pots for drainage. Uh, make sure that you're using clean pots and there's no um, pathogens or anything like that on it. So always make sure you use sterilised uh, pots here. Now when it comes to the soil material, sorry, soil medium, I prefer to use obviously cactus and succulent mix. Now I always like to make my own because the ones that you buy in the shops I don't think are very good quality. And I use good old John Inns number two and I mix it with 50% uh, sand, so half John Inns number two and half sand. And you can also, if you have very delicate species of cacti, you can also use um, three, three of each, three equal parts of either sand, Johnny's number two, and also grit as well. And I'll put the links down below to a video I made on how to make cactus compost. Um, you can use that for succulents as well. You might find that easy. It's far more economical making your own and you know what's going into it. Mix the 50% sand and 50% Johnny's, as I'm doing in this case. And you can really use, use the mixture, make the amount of percentage to how you like. So you haven't got to, hasn't got to be this or that. I just find that this works really well for me. I like using a soil based one. And then um, once you've given it a really good mix around, start putting it in. And then I'm going to fill this up now. So it's up to about there. And then I'm going to start putting all the plants in. Now guys, obviously what you want to do is fill it up as far as you can up to the top with the soil and then um, level it off. You want to leave about half an inch from the top because obviously if you plant the, pot, the plants up too high up, when it comes to watering them, you're going to be left with uh, the water sort of falling off all, all the edge of the pot. So you want the water to go in and um, gently press it down like so, not too much because you're going to be putting the plants in here. And then when it's sort of leveled off, you're going to be putting the first plant in and in this case I'm going to use this one. Now it's always best to repot cacti and succulents including making bowl gardens in the spring and summer or very early autumn because the root systems are very delicate and if they get damaged 
it, sometimes they can cause them to rot in the winter. So always recommend, always spring and summer and early autumn for this. And then what you want to do then is obviously, using your hands, is make a little indentation here to pot it in like so. And then gently, gently press all the soil around it. And that's the first one in. And then come to the next one. And we'll choose this one here. Again, get them gently out of the pots. They're so desperate to be potted, it can be really easy anyway. Always a good chance as well to check the root system and make sure that there's no bugs lurking in there and that the roots look very healthy. There's in this case, very healthy root system there. And again, make a little indentation with your hand. Gently place it in like so. Make sure you're leaving plenty of room because obviously these plants are going to grow, so you don't want to be cramming it too much. Just pushing it like so. And then uh, another nearly top. And then the next one is, I mean, remember when it comes to doing bowl guards, you can do them however you like them. You might want to put the big one at the back or the big one in the middle. I prefer to always put the tallest one right in the middle and just give it a squeeze to get them out the pots like so. As you can see, I'm desperate to be repotted there. Um, but the roots are pretty healthy. And then you give it a hole again, like so, right in the middle. Placing it in like so, gently putting the soil around it. That's it, just make sure it's straightened up. And then uh, just for the other two. Now, the little one in here. This one is also desperate to be repotted, but um, it's got a good root system as well. Gonna make a little hole there again. Again. Gently put that in like so. Press down, tuck it in. And then uh, the last one. With a hole like so. Uh, squeezing the pots. That's coming out. Like so. Gently place that in. and then push the soil all around it like so and, uh, that's it done there now you can put more in if you wanted to personally I always like to leave a lot of space because these plants are going to grow and there's nothing worse if it grows within a few months and they're all all having to repot it all again so leave lots of space and also it gives you lots of space as well if you want to put some beautiful rocks or crystals all around it and you can also put a top dressing or gravel if you want to as well and um, I'm going to put a few little uh, crystals on the top of this now there you go guys that's the finished result I've put some lovely crystals around it for a bit of a display but say it's entirely up to you you can use shells you can use gravel um, anything for um, display purposes. I personally love using crystals because I'm absolutely mad about crystals and minerals and I think not only do they look absolutely beautiful on the plants but I believe that it's, their magical powers also help the plants as well and uh, just show you that. Now what I'd recommend doing obviously with any plant you repot, cactus or succulent anyway, is I always recommend waiting at least two weeks before you start to water again. That's because obviously it gives the roots a chance to repair themselves and if you water a cactus and succulent straight after repotting it they can very often rot so leave it for a couple of weeks and then, then start watering as normal as long as it's a spring and summer obviously. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to send you loads of love and loads of happiness and tons and tons of happy growing as always from Ireland. Until my next video guys. Bye!